All right, it's William here again, and I want to talk about some IQ products again, especially the plates and the reverbs that they sent me. And uh, I was already uh, very familiar with the C uh, CSR reverb. Uh, I had this for uh, several years, but uh, I lost it during the transition to 64 bits, and uh, some files I, I got, I lost it, and I just never bother to to get those files again and uh, now I got everything running again on my computer uh, it's running 64 bits uh, with studio one and it just sounds amazing it's very it's a very good set of reverbs and I also had the sunset sound studio uh, which uh, the I got uh, from a friend who uh, purchased for me as a present so uh, I really like it. Some has has some really nice plates, and I just prepared here a very quick showcase in, in here with Cyclop playing a very simple sound. <coughs> then uh, roll on D fifty. And then my tie, which is which comes with Studio One, just playing some science sounds, and then after that some drum sounds, and then some vocals. So we can test it out. So let's start with the sunset. Let me open it up. S sunset sound. And in this case, I'm going to just going to check the plate number one. And uh, this, everything here on the Sunset Sound is based on convolution. So uh, the parameters you have is not uh, very advanced compared to the CSR reverbs. But uh, it still has some very nice sound to it. So you can click on options here and select the type of decay you have for your plate. And on the bottom here, you you can squeeze if you want the decay right now it's at a hundred percent but you can make it shorter so it's just going to short shorten shorten <laughs> makes it's going to make shorter the convolution uh, impulse response and that's that then you have some equalizer here for the sound before it inputs on the uh, convolution process the width is just going to go from mono, fully mono to fully stereo, but you also have a button here for monophonic input and stereo output if you want. And uh, it's pretty much that. I just have to, to lower the volume a bit, otherwise uh, I was starting to hear a lot of distortion. So let's hear how this guy sounds with all this stuff that I played in here. a bit I'll give him some distortion So okay, I hear some distortion in, in this part in here because my volume should be a bit lower. It's the only problem I had with this particular reverb is that it doesn't like a hot signal, but it's not a problem. You just lower it a bit and it sounds great, especially because on, on this setup I'm doing here, 
I put the volume very high so you can hear the effects very loud. Uh, and uh, usually we don't do it like that. We also have another plate in here, which also sounds very good. And you can also change the decay of it. There's a picture of it in here. So let's play just the, a bit, some of the sounds. So it's a very nice sounding plate shoe. Uh, I particularly like the, the plate number one best. And uh, the pictures, some people may look at the pictures and say, well, what a mess, but uh, it's, it's what they do to isolate the, the plates, reverbs, so they don't get too much interference from the outside world. Because if you don't know how a plate reverb works, you should really check uh, on, uh, on Google because it's a very interesting uh, concept. And uh, well, the, it's pretty much what I, what I can say for this particular one. Now, when you move to the, the CSR plate, this is a totally different beast. So let me turn off this guy and turn off the CSR. And uh, the difference here is because this is the, um, how to say algorithm based so you have a lot of options if you click advanced here on the on the bottom you can see they have a lot of parameters that you can change and you also have modulations and macros that you can create so it really allows you to do more comparing to a convolution uh, impulse re response and it sounds very good so let's hear this one let me go back. So, okay, no distortion this time. And I haven't adjusted the input levels at, at all. <laughs> uh, and just a quick overview of the, of this reverb. We have the IO, which is the input level, output level, the mix, input image, output image. We can select uh, the panning how we want. We have the timing, the reverb timing. We have a lot of options for, uh, not just uh, an equalization, but uh, how the algorithm is going to affect the sound, especially if you go into the reflections, because you can create reflections and then uh, adjust the time and the level of each reflection. So you have one for the left, one for the right, and this one also have an echo, which is not uh, turned on right now. Uh, the coloring is just an equalizer. Then you have on the reverb, the size, the diffusion, uh, build up, I don't remember what it is, I forgot to check on the manual. But uh, diffusion is just going to, to make the reverb less, uh, to, with less treble. So let me do a test in here. Uh, 
or maybe that's not your fusion, that's, that's the disperse. Let me check something here. So have the time, the reverb size. Well, it's doing something to the sound, but uh, not in the way I was expecting. But I should check uh, with the presets what you have. Because, let's see load the wide vocals instead hey, do you want my love yeah, yeah. yeah that sounds great <laughs> so it's, it's very good for vocals the plate reverb as always uh, plate reverbs are good for vocals <laughs> And uh, I'm just trying to mess around with the parameters a bit and uh, see what what I can come up with. So I'm going to go now to the inverse reverb, which is something I was missing since I had this uh, from another company that just don't do plugins anymore. And it was a great plugin with the inverse option. And uh, this one really sounds great. Hey, do you want my love? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. So that's very good. But you can get a more chaotic sometimes effect. Do you want my love? Oh, that's nice. Let me try this one here. I used to I used to like to to, to add inverted reverbs into the snare. It sounds very great. Try again here. So that's more aggressive. Let me hear this one. Yeah. So that's very nice. And of course, we have the Hall effect as well, which is just uh, the classic Hall we are used to know. But we have a lot of options on this case. And I really haven't uh, started with the modulations yet. But you can create some very complex modulations just in this section. But uh, so far, I haven't started. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so let's say I want to use uh, the LFO here. I was already messing around with it. And I can change the level in just with the LFO by itself. Uh, let me try salt of. We don't have any synchronization, but. So that's already f something you, you can do, and it seems that I can do this with a lot of parameters. But uh, I never really used that, but it sounds like something uh, I should learn. <laughs> and everything else is in here, so I'm just not going to mess too much with the, the values right now, because it sounds very good, good with the, the included presets. So let me try here this one vocal late reverb. Hey, do you want my love? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That's very nice. Before I you, you. That's very nice. Another thing that I like about the uh, IQ Multimedia plugins is, is that they share the same size of the interface. So if I resize, I don't, I don't have to go resizing each individually one uh, when, I, when I insert the plugin again. Right now they have different size, but when I insert again, it's going to use the last one that I changed the size. So I like that. It's very neat idea <laughs> and it has some very nice presets that comes with it and you can make it really fit in your screen resolution if you if you want so okay this is just a basic setup that i'm showing uh, i'm focused more on the sounds and not on each every parameter because that's going to be overkill uh, i should check always check the manual if you don't know what something is doing uh, I got a bit lost here in the terms of diffusion and disperse, but I should have checked the manual first. But that's my own fault. But everything else seems to work as expected. The size of reverb, the reverb time. So if you want a very long reverb in here, I can add up to 62 seconds. That's overkill. That's great for ambient music. But 62! Whoa. That's really crazy. But sometimes you need 62 seconds. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you like it. So, thanks for watching.